got a bit of a hot take here, so I'm just going to come out and say it. I think that MODOK should have been the main bad guy in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I think that we could make him the main character very easily without changing barely anything about the plot, and it would improve pretty much everything across the board story-wise. For starters, by elevating MODOK up to main bad guy status, we're going to be able to move Kang out of that spot. Now, I know a lot of people think that Kang was the best thing about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and sure, Jonathan Major's performance was really good, but overall for the character, I think it's doing a disservice, right? This is supposed to be the next Thanos, and Marvel really seems to be in some kind of a hurry to get there completely forgetting the fact that the way we got to Thanos was slowly over time being drip fed these little bits about him. The stuff of him and Loki I think did a really good job of establishing the threat and the idea of there being multiple versions of him. It's not something I think we need to be moving into this quickly again. If we move him out of this main bad guy spot and kind of put him in like the post credit scene like oh maybe he's the one who helped MODOK get some of this technology without everybody else knowing about it then we can continue to build up that mystique of his character and have his first real presence in the MCU be something where it's not just him getting beat up in a fist fight by Paul Rudd. So what about MODOK though? I really like the idea of him being the main bad guy because it lets Scott Lang still be responsible for a lot of these things that are going on, whereas he doesn't really have any kind of personal stakes when it comes to being tied into the main villain. We could still let Janet be involved too and let her be able to have her hidden dark past. Like in a similar way where she found Kang, she could have found Derek after he crashed in, after Scott beat him up in the first Ant-Man, and then without knowing it, help him kind of regain power and become this new version of himself. We find out that he's always known who Janet was, and he's really kind of been playing her, manipulating her, and she finds out who he is, and that he wants to go and kill pretty much everybody that she cares about. And story-wise, it can really kind of play out almost exactly like it does in the real movie. Obviously, we're going to need to change the tone of his character a little bit. I do like the idea of him being kind of funny, but like the half-hearted redemption that they give him in Ant-Man to me just feels really forced, and I really don't think I'm alone on that either. I think most importantly though, if we're going to be changing things about him to make him the main villain, we got to get the butt shot. Sorry all you Darren heads out there, um, it's just, it's not fitting with the direction we're moving in. The only real big change that I would want to make sure that they would do if they were going to actually put MODOK in this position would be to let him get out, right? Let him get out into the real world and be a, a continued threat. That's not happening enough in superhero movies in general, not just in Marvel movies. Like, look at Loki. Great example of a villain that didn't actually die and was able to become like a fan favorite. Let's just keep him alive. So those are just some random thoughts that I had when I was re-watching Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania with my wife the other day. Let me know what you would change about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Uh, would you change anything? Maybe you really liked it. I know that there are people who, who really did. And I know that there are people out there who really didn't. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Talk to you later. Bye.